Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Tuesday, December 3rd, Young and the Restless teasers see Nick Newman meeting Chance Chancellor and requesting an unofficial favor. Following Sharon Newman's dosage modification, Nick will admit to pulling her old pill bottle and the remainder of her last prescription batch out of the garbage. Now Nick will want Chance to have the pills and the bottle itself analyzed at the forensic lab, merely to check if something is missing. Chance will think Nick is grabbing at straws, but he'll ultimately agree to see what he can do. Michael Baldwin will try his best at Crimson Lights to persuade Sharon not to enter a guilty plea and into prison, but she intends to atone for her deeds. If at all possible Sharon will want to amend her plea today, Michael will text Nick to come over since they have a problem. Nick will admit to snatching Sharon's pill bottle and having it examined along with the prescription inside when he shows up and gets updates on her intentions. Nick will ask Sharon to at least hold off a couple days so they can see what the results are. Ian Ward, Ray Wise, will then open the door to a blonde stranger with sunglasses and a hat Tuesday's YNR episode, so he'll be wondering who she is. Jordan will unveil herself and realize her latest disguise works. Jordan will go dark and behave as though he is forgetting how this relationship works once Ian throws some veiled threats about. Ian will offer an apology, so Jordan will accept it before running out to acquire the intel Ian wants on Sharon's daughters. Ian will plaster on a smile in front of Jordan, but he will throw it away soon she leaves. Faith Newman will meet Lucy Romilotti in the park so she may try to show compassion. The scenario will get complicated when Lucy yells about Sharon being a monster and claims she's horrible for what she done. Faith will feel sad for Lucy and her family, but she won't be able to hang around and listen to Lucy talk about Sharon that way. At the Abbott home, Kyle Abbott will let Claire Newman, Haley Aaron, know they have the estate all to themselves. After enjoying some cookies and kisses downstairs, Claire and Kyle will make their way up to a bedroom. Once Kyle and Claire hit the sheets, Claire will disclose that was her first time being passionate with someone. Outside society, Jordan will peer in the window while a glum Faith sits at the bar. Claire and Kyle will come along for a seductive talk nearby, so Jordan will seem anxious about the risk of getting detected. The young and the restless spoilers suggest Jordan has some tight situations in her future, so keep with us for more predictions on her quest and all the crazy news ahead. The young and the restless spoilers for Tuesday, December 3, 2024, are here. In tomorrow's episode, fans may expect Nick Newman to cross the line to help Sharon Newman. Kyle Abbott romances Claire Grace Newman. Meanwhile, Jordan gathers intel for Ian Ward. Keep watching and let's discuss about what is coming up in the upcoming episode. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Jordan Howard's Bold Move YNR spoilers for Tuesday, December 3rd show that Jordan and Ian have an arrangement. While Ian was released from prison, Jordan was busted out. Ian has the upper hand right now, so Jordan has no choice but to acquire intel for her partner in crime. What Ian wants is a report on the reactions of Sharon's loved ones. So, Jordan will put on a disguise. This time, it's her signature disguise sunglasses. For the wig, this time it is a long, blonde one. Over with Sharon, she has made a tough decision. After a public showdown with Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and Summer Newman Sharon has decided she doesn't want a trial. Sharon told Michael Baldwin that she wanted to plead guilty and go directly to prison. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Tuesday, December 3rd hint that Nick will go to extremities to try to save Sharon. Although Sharon confessed, Nick thinks in his gut that she might not be totally guilty. While it's true that Sharon didn't kill Heather Stevens, Vail Bloom, she did dump the body and frame Daniel Romilotti, Jr. There were apparently additional offenses, such as breaking into Phyllis's hotel room and lying to a detective. In any event, Nick wants to aid Sharon. If Nick discovers that Sharon intends to miss a trial, he could utterly panic. 
That is perhaps what causes Nick to ask Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, for help. However, Chance is the investigator on the case and the one who arrested Sharon. Clearly a conflict of interest, but soaps follow different rules. On Tuesday, December 3rd, fans will also witness Kyle romance Claire. While Claire will be enamored, she will also see Jordan in disguise. While Claire doesn't know who the woman is, she does want to inch closer, so this will undoubtedly put the young woman in danger all over again. Which narrative are you looking forward to witnessing the most on Tuesday, December 3, 2024? Share your opinions in the comment area below. Victor offered Nikki yet another firm to oversee on the December 2nd episode of The Young and the Restless. He keeps doing that, doesn't he? And then he keeps pulling them away from her. Why? We know it's because Victor is the best chess master who ever chess mastered, and every move he makes is excellent and for the welfare of his family and not to be questioned, but is it also conceivable that Nikki just isn't very good at running these numerous companies? Maybe Victor is trying to spare her feelings by professing other, more noble reasons. Maybe she's just a really, really lousy manager. But what if Nikki's potential incompetence is only a small fraction of the dangers she'll confront a chancellor? So, because Victor is so excellent at the business things, he conned Diane into acquiring ownership of Glissade after he'd sold off all the company's assets, making it practically a shell worth nothing. How do we know that Billy didn't do the same thing before he left Abbott Chancellor? Billy was terribly, really upset at both Victor and Jill. If it's a decent enough dirty trick for Victor to play, why not Billy, too? What if Nikki's first day at the office includes realizing that the office is all that's still left? Meanwhile, Victor's wonderful glissade idea doesn't seem so brilliant now that Jack told Diane that he's bought all the assets back for her, so glissade is a whole corporation again. Boy, who knew buying and selling millions of dollars worth of companies was that simple? All those teams of lawyers with their fancy degrees and experience in business acquisitions must be seriously overpaid. You can just do it with the press of a button or multi-million dollar enterprises sold on Amazon. The point is, if Jack could repair Victor's ingenious ploy so fast, what's to stop Billy and Lily from doing the same? Nikki shouldn't get too comfy. For whatever reason, her rule as CEO may not last too long. That's all for the time being. I hope you enjoyed it. I will provide another update as soon as possible. Please allow me to develop a larger channel only for you. I just put in the effort for you. I'm hoping for a better outcome in the future. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe for more information. I'll see you guys next time.